So the problem that we have today says, Tim has 114 books. He wants to arrange them on six shelves. How many books can go on each shelf? So we know that there is 114 books and there is six shelves. So in order for us to find out how many books can go on each shelf, we must divide. So the way that we're going to set up our problem is the same way we do when we do is the same way we do standard algorithm. So I'm going to do 114 divided by six shelves. So my first step, I must draw my line where we're going to where we're going to add our partial quotients on the right side. So, off the top of my head, I don't know 114 divided by 6, but I know multiples of 6. So the biggest multiple of 6 that I know that is not bigger than 114 is 6 times 10. I know that 6 times 10 is equal to 60. So I'm going to write 60. So 6 times 10 is 60, so I'm going to take away that partial uh, quotient, or that partial product, and I'm going to subtract it from the total. So 4, time, four minus 0 is 4. One, I cannot take away 6 from 1, so I'm going to borrow from my neighbor, turn it into an 11. 11 minus 6 is 5. So, I cannot do 6 times 10 again because it is bigger than 54. So, I'm going to go ahead and do 6 times 5, which is equal to 30. So, now I'm going to take away my 30 from my total over here. 4 minus 0 is 4. 5 minus 3 is 2. So I am left with 24. So now I actually do know a multiple of 6 that's equal to 24. I know that 6 times 4 is 24. So I'm going to subtract my 24. 24 minus 24 is of course equal to 0. So now I am done because I got to zero. So now my next step to do, I have to add my partial quotients. So I have 10, 5, and 4. I'm going to add these. 0 plus 5 plus 4 is 9, and then 1, which makes it to be 19. So I'm going to put 19 up here, but I need to check my work. So by checking my work, I need to multiply my numbers here on the outside, which are 19 times 6. So I'm going to check. Okay, 19 times 6, 9 times 6, 54, I put my 4 and I carry my 5, 6 times 1 is 6, plus 5 is 11, so 114 does match with my dividend, 114, so that means my answer is correct. Another way you can also check is by adding these products over here, and they must also match 114. So I'm going to do 60 plus 30 plus 24. 0 plus 0 plus 4, 4. 6 plus 3 is 9, plus 2 is 11. 
and that also matches. So that is how you do division using partial quotients.